Hey, this is Andre from PMCJax.com with a brief demonstration of how to apply SEO to your WordPress blog using the best SEO plugin available for WordPress called Yoast. Now I'm going to show you this example on my website. I've already got it open. I'm just going to click over to that tab now. And the first step is to install the plugin. So I'm going to hover over plugins and click add new. search using the word Yoast you'll see it at the top and instead of details or update now you'll see details or install now go ahead and click install now and then click on activate it usually takes about 10 or 15 seconds then we're gonna write a post And the first step is obviously to write the title of your post. And then a brief uh, amount of content here for this example here. And in, in the uh, permalink structure, it's not a categorized post yet, so I definitely want to update that. I'm going to choose the category that best applies here, the SEO process, and save it as a draft so it'll update. And I'm also going to edit the permalink. I don't want this entire title to be used in my permalink, so I'm just going to uh, update this to say how to use Yoast SEO plugin. You don't want your titles, uh, your links to be too long, so choose categories that aren't too long and then when you write a long title here, try to edit that to make sure it's not something that's extra, extra long. Um, and if you're still seeing uh, codes here like page ID equals 6457, then you're going to need to adjust your permalink and that's going to be something that uh, you'll want to view in another video. So I've got my title, I've adjusted the permalink, and I've written a, a very small amount of content here. The Yoast plugin appears just below this main content box, and this is where we're going to do our work. The snippet preview is what's appearing in search results if our page or post happens to make it into somebody's search results given their search phrase. We're going to need to choose a focus keyword. Yoast SEO plugin. And the, uh, the uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin gives us some immediate feedback. My focus keyword was not found in the article heading, page title, yes URL, and yes content. So article heading, I'm going to want to fix that using the Yoast SEO plugin. There we go. Now that should show up here. Yes, article heading. Yes, page title. Yes, URL. And yes, content. Meta description is next. But before we get to that box, there's one more in between. It's called the SEO title. And this is what appears in the search results. It's something we're going to want to adjust. And this is a very cool feature of the WordPress uh, Yoast SEO plugin. I'm going to be able to change what's appearing in search results without changing what appears to the user on top, on the, top of the post. So I'm going to make this say how to use the Yoast SEO plugin. WordPress SEO. Now um, go on to the meta description. little bit of a spelling error there. 
So I now have a meta description uh, that contains my focus keyword, Yoast SEO plugin. And that's important. All of these items are very important for search engines to identify this post as a post that's applying to your focus keyword. So if you were a um, printer uh, or a printing company, you're, you might write a post on business card printing. So your focus keyword may be business card printing. That would need to be appearing in your heading, page title, URL, content, and meta description. And then when Google reviews this page, they'll understand this is, might be valuable to somebody searching for business card printing. Um, there are some more features of the Yoast plugin. Uh, page analysis, it tells me, well, let's go ahead and uh, save this draft. and the page analysis tells me there are 13 words contained in the body that's far too low so that that's definitely obvious we're going to need to write you know about 300 words two or three paragraphs we definitely want to include our our focus keyword in there at least three or four times throughout that uh, content no images appear um, and that's just usability uh, it's nice to show people images it's very helpful to improve the amount of time people stay on your page and, and the likelihood they may share it anyway you'd want to review some of these uh, uh, recommendations advanced you can neglect unless you are an SEO intermediate or advanced and uh, social this gives you the ability to write in, in a, a separate description that only appears if somebody shares your post or page on Facebook or Google Plus and for general use cases uh, most small businesses and the uh, novice users just can stick with this general review the page analysis and you're gonna do fine you'll get a lot more visibility through this uh, tool than had you not used any tool or any other tool and I hope you enjoyed this post and if you'd like to know some more information about SEO or how I can help you with your small business visit us online at pmcjax.com that's www.pmcjax.com thank you